A few months ago, Perplexity released a brand new web browser called Comet. But is it stealthy? Can it bypass bot detection and solve CAPTCHAs? Find out today on The Hacker Show. Get ready for some serious hacking. All right, let's jump right into the examples. We're going to be using a framework called Selenium Base, which has the ability to spin up a Comet browser and be stealthy. So let's run an example. Python raw gitlab.py dash dash Comet to use the Comet browser. And on GitLab, there's going to be a Cloudflare turnstile at the very opening when you get there. So let's see. There you go. Comet Browser was able to bypass that CAPTCHA with Selenium Base. Let's run a few more advanced examples. Let's do Python raw glassdoor.py dash dash Comet. Let's see if we can be stealthy there. It's going to go in. As you can see, there's another Cloudflare turnstile on the opening page, and we've just bypassed it with Selenium Base. So that's another example showing that Comet Browser can be used for stealthy activities, and it can even bypass captures. Let's do a more advanced web scraping example. Let's do Python raw order tickets.py dash dash Comet so that we can use the Comet browser in order to get details on Jerry Seinfeld shows coming up in the near future. Here we are, Jerry Seinfeld tickets, 34 results, and all those results were just printed to the console output, showing that Comet browser can be stealthy when used in conjunction with Selenium Base. All right, let's go into the CDP mode folder where there's going to be more examples. Let's get some hotel prices with Comet. Let's do python raw hyatt.py dash dash Comet. It's going to spin up a Comet browser and it's going to go to the Hyatt website. It's going to accept cookies and then put in destination Anaheim, California, USA. And then it's going to click to find hotels in the area for the selected dates. As you can see here, a bunch of results came up. So now you have a bunch of Hyatt hotels and their prices for Anaheim, California. And wow, prices aren't bad. So yeah, maybe a trip to California in the near future. So that's some web scraping there. In the next example, we're going to bypass some bot detection for a website that uses HCAPTCHA for defense. So let's do python raw nevada search.py dash dash comment and let's see if we can get past that HCAPTCHA defense that would generally come up if it detects automation systems. So it's gonna go in and we made it past the part where they would generally throw an HCAPTCHA at you and we're gonna search for businesses in Nevada that are laser tag related. And we can see here, business search for laser tag and the output has appeared in the console output showing that that works. Let's do python raw copilot.py dash dash comet. And we're going to see if Sunny Base with the Comet browser can web scrape data from Microsoft Copilot. Let's see how to start automating with Selenium Base. And there's going to be a CAPTCHA that appears. However, Selenium Base was able to bypass that successfully from the Comet browser. And now we've got a lot of data showing up. And then once it's done grabbing all that data, it's going to save the results into an HTML file. So let's see if it was saved successfully. It was saved into the downloaded files slash copilot results section of my computer. So let's do open that so that we can see if the data came through. And yes, it definitely saved the HTML file. You can see here if you open the URL, it's the copilot results.html. So Copilot was able to go in, scrape the data, take a screenshot with Selenium Base, and that data is here. Up next, we're going to do an example with an airline search. So let's do Python raw southwest.py dash dash Comet to see if Comet Browser can web scrape some airline prices. Let's see if it works. Going to Southwest Airlines, and we're going to book a flight. 
for the departure we're area, we're going to set it to Boston, and then we're going to arrive in Chicago, and then it's going to perform a search. And let's see if we can get some results. Oh, here we go. Looks like results are appearing, and Selenium Base is outputting those results from Comet to the web browser. So here we go. We have lots of flight data for Thursday, November 6th, and the flight times, whether it's nonstop, and the price. So that's an example of scraping data from an airline. So as you can see here, there are lots of examples for bypassing bot detection and solving captures from the Selenium Base examples CDP mode folder. You can find Selenium Base on GitHub. So if you go to github.com Selenium Base Selenium Base, you'll see that it's quite a popular repository and there's just a lot of documentation. And Selenium Base lets you automate on any Chromium browser such as Comet. So if you like one browser or another, you can pick it. And I think OpenAI recently released a new browser themselves called Atlas. So now with all these new Chromium browsers, you can easily set Selenium Base to automate with those from the configuration. Just on the command line, do dash dash Comet for Comet browser or dash dash Atlas for Atlas browser. And there you go. For the CDP mode documentation, which is what you'll be using for bypassing captures, there's documentation right here, Selenium Base, CDP mode, there are various YouTube tutorials, there's one that I'm making right now that I'll put up after this, but essentially everything that you need to know in order to bypass bot detection with Selenium Base using any Chromium browser that you want, such as Comet. Well, that concludes today's tutorial. I hope you have a great time automating, and I'll see you all next time.